Mississippi State 26, A&M 22. Zach Calzada, 12 out of 20 for 135 yards, one touchdown, one pick. A&M was not able to run the ball as efficiently as I think they wanted to. 32 carries, 162 yards, 5.1 yards per carry. And the secondary, that was number two EPA per pass defense this season for A&M, gave up 408 400. yards. Yep. 46 out of 59. Now, Mississippi State uses their passing game as a bit of a running game. That's right. Um, however, they were able to... They were still able to run the ball over 100 yards. No, no. They only ran for uh, 30 yards on the day. But it, a lot of those, like I was saying, a lot of that, that yardage was the short passes, the little flips and whatnot that, that looked like runs, right? And so 17 carries for 30 yards for Mississippi State running the ball. Uh, nothing nothing crazy there. That's that's why oh, I was yeah, saying yeah, that they usually the other passing yeah. game. To, to I was about to say, wait a minute. I saw them. But you're right. It's all these little short shuffle passes and stuff like that that count as yep. uh Makai Polk 13 receptions 126 yards had two touchdowns in the game uh Jaden Wally had another touchdown for him they they had a brilliant game plan and A&M gets down there with a chance to to win the game and or gets the ball back with a chance to win the game and completely craps the bed gives up a safety like this is A&M fans worst nightmare is you lose to Arkansas and Mississippi State right before going into a primetime game against Alabama. CBS has got to be kicking themselves. Well, right yeah, now. this is the problem. CBS needs to be smarter than this. Why? Why can't they change the game? I agreed. Like, why? Why choose it two weeks out? I just I don't understand. I know. I don't. I, I'm sure that the numbers are going to be okay. I guess. But you but, just had Alabama. You're going to have Alabama two weeks in a row kicking the shit out of people. That's yeah. like that's what you want to do. I mean, I'm sure that's what Gary Daniels wants to do. But <laughs> you're probably you're probably not wrong on that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B G and any at Winning Cures, or you can email us Gary at winningcureseverything dot com or Chris at winningcureseverything dot com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.